Hi guys, this is Jeremiah with Stone Blue Airlines. Welcome to today's flight. Uh, you'll be joining me on a flight on the uh, E-Flight Optera. Uh, just recently got back from our fall fun fly over in Covington for the Flying Circus event. If you're not familiar with the Flying Circus FPV Festival that we put on, you want to check that out. It's flyingcircusfpvfestival.com. If you're not subscribed to our channel on YouTube, we want to make sure you do that. And uh, make sure you get our notifications when we drop new videos. On average, we put out anywhere between one to two videos a week uh, with some small little bursts in between and uh, typically entails educational stuff as well as FPV flight like we're doing here today um, or maybe tech or reviews. So we cover a lot of stuff. But today I wanted to take you guys on a flight with me on my Optera wing uh, from Horizon Hobby, the flight it's a fantastic plane. Um, great soaring bird for both moderate range to long range flying. And on my particular uh, aircraft that I've got, I've done a setup with Vector Flight Controller, pretty much my go-to uh, when it comes to uh, FPV flight control, uh, stabilization, 2D, uh, loiter, return to launch, just a fantastic setup. I'm flying Easy UHF. Uh, for my radio control link, I'm running run cam cameras, and then uh, I'm running, of course, the video aerial systems antenna on my 1-3 video system, as well as my dipoles for my radio control. Uh, where we're at for this flight in a pretty far remote area, right up in the mountains, um, very, very low chance of aircraft traveling through this area, and we're already up about 1,000, 1,600 feet on top of a mountain. Uh, doesn't take but about five, six hundred feet to clear and pop out um, over this valley, and then you drop uh, probably about thousand to eight hundred feet or so on your altitude. You gain that just by popping off the ridge. Beautiful spot to fly. Our flying circus location is great. The community is fantastic there, and uh, you're just nestled in between all these mountain ranges. So. Um, from a safety standpoint and flying this way, we had a couple spotters on this mission and um, on average I was about a mile, mile and a half out um, and kind of cruising over the valley. And what's nice is air traffic's not going to fly low in this area. It's almost non-existent and because of all the mountain ranges, as you can see, I'm l almost quite even maybe with the mountains in the background, I'm barely covering those. Uh, when you go flying out, two of them literally almost hitting the tops. So it's nice, so uh, great safe spot to fly this kind of flight with this aircraft. Um, and for a lot of the flight, I was actually uh, on this one just cruising back with absolutely no power on. It's a fantastic bird, long flight times. I'm flying a 5200 three cell uh, battery pack jet fuel. And we sell those of course in the store as well as our planes. And it's just a great plane because you can just soar around, get up to altitude, and just poke around. I don't need a lot of power to keep me in the air. I can just poke around, fly. It's lazy. It's easy. Uh, and I don't really need stabilization. At this point, I'm not flying any stabilization whatsoever. I'm just poking around the air. What's a dead calm? The perfect kind of FPV flight. Um, and then, as you can kind of see down the, just a beautiful valley and the way the mountains are kind of set in in the um, Allegheny Highlands. Beautiful, beautiful spot. So got to hit a few clouds, low-lying clouds, because of some fog that had kind of rolled in. And it's the perfect time. If you're ever interested to try to hit some low-lying clouds, do it after a rainstorm. Wait till everything kind of gets the humidity in the air. They settle in really low. Most of the time, you don't even barely have to fly up a couple hundred feet to hit some low-lying clouds. If you're looking ahead, that little white speck uh, in the grass that I'm, I'm pointing at, those are the tents and where our flying site is. Really easy navigation location to get back to right on the side of the mountain. If you're interested to learn a little bit more about this plane, head over to stonebluearlines.com. Look up the Optera under our Horizon Hobby line of aircraft. And uh, from there you can hit control, check out the Vector Flight Controller System. I am running the Vector Mini on this particular rig as well as the UHF control uh, for everything else.
just a beautiful day to be up in the air. Uh, of course, this flight was abbreviated at the start of the video. You saw I'm just punching through and getting some distance out. Uh, I was up for about 35 minutes flying around. And most of my flight home uh, covering a distance of about 1.5 miles. And I did not have to use any power whatsoever to make it home. And additionally, was able to go out another couple miles of flight without adding any power to my motor. Uh, just bleeding off speed right here so that I can come in and make a nice uh, approach coming home. Long range is a lot of fun. It can be really kind of calming and chilling, and it's just something that you want to check out if you've never done it. Thanks for watching today's video.